Hi, this is Patty the Whale, and he is giving you my top five choices of where to spend St. Patrick's Day if you are on the Brighton Coast. One is Lincoln City, the Celtic Show and Dinner at LCCC. Two, Seaside, the Irish Pub at McEwen's. Three, Gearheart, McMinimum's Gearheart Hotel and Sandtrap Pub. Four is Bandon, Foley's Irish Pub. And five, Nana's Irish Pub in Newport. Thank you, Patty. Please give Patty a thumbs up for the effort and subscribe to my channel. I put out new content every Tuesday and every Friday. I leave you with the new whale photos I shot from Rocky Creek. Next week is Whale Week and I give you my top 10 places to shoot photos of whales and watch for whales. May the sunshine always be at your back and the road home always be downhill. Thank you for watching. Hello and thank you for joining me today in my Creative Nomad studio. Today I am painting from my whale color chart, the migrating whales on the west coast. The three main migrating whales are humpback, which I'm painting right now, a gray whale, sometimes called California gray whale, which is beneath the humpback on the chart, and the blue whale, which is the largest whale. Blue whales were endangered and they are coming back and in fact where I'm staying right now there's a pod of resident blue whales outside of Charleston, Oregon near Coos Bay, Oregon and it's often studied there's an, uh, a U of O research center in Charleston and they study that pod of blue whales. I'm using Windsor Newton watercolors to paint this humpback whale today but I'm also going to use uh, watercolor pencils which are ink tents by Derwent. To make the whale chart illustrations, I had to do a bit of studying on the differences of whales. And the humpback has really long fins. In fact, they're longer than this illustration, so by the end, I actually make them longer. And they also are often tipped in white. And the gray whales have smaller fins and a much smaller tail, except for when you're in the water and you see the tail, it still looks really big. But com in comparison, to the blue whale and the humpback. It has a smaller tail and smaller fins. And it's also quite speckled. I did not put the blue whale in this coloring video, this blog, but I will put a link in comments below to the color chart in my Etsy shop so that you can have a look at the, the different sizes or the illustration of the blue whale. And if you would like to paint this or color this whale chart, I will put also a 25% off uh, discount code in comments below. The blue whale is twice the size of the gray whale so I have to put the tail on the back of the t-shirt so the blue whale starts on the front and ends on the back. The uh, humpback is usually I researched uh, 45 to 60 feet long and the gray whale is about 50 to 62 or 68 feet long whereas the blue whale is up to 90 feet long. So that's why it's um, twice the humpback. So this vlog is also in celebration of Whale Week. Uh, it's a week called Whale Watching Spoken Here that they have on the Oregon coast. If you go, I hope to see you out there. If you see whales, 
the tail, the breaching, or the spouting, it is probably one of the three whales I talked about in this video. If you like this kind of content, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out new content every Tuesday and Friday. As always, thank you for watching.